Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. Now, listen, bro. As y'all seen by the uh, title and thumbnail of today's video, bro, I'm going to tell y'all boys how to make sure the vibe right when you link with a girl, bro, and, and how to make your move to, to do what you finna do to do get your little freak on if you try to make your move. You feel me? I'm finna put y'all boys on game because a lot of y'all niggas be doing it wrong, bro. I'm finna help y'all out, though. So, I ain't finna too much talk. I ain't finna even talk too much more, bro. Let's just get straight to the point. All right, bro. So, look, bro. The first thing is a lot of y'all you do this, bro. Y'all link with a girl or some shit, bro. And there's two things dudes do. They either be too nervous to make a move in general, and then they end up getting cut off because the girl expected them to make a move, but they never made a move. Like, like they wanted to do something with you, bro, but your ass was too nervous the whole time. You was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then she just got fed up with it because she's like, bro, you're going to make a move or you're going to keep being scared. You feel me? So that can be a big turn off for some girls if you never make your move, bro. But at the same time, you don't want to make your move too early. So I'm going to talk about both of them. I'm going to start off with making your move too early, bro. Let's say this, bro. What you don't want to do is just say you link with a girl y'all killing or whatever. You instantly, hey, pull down your junk. You just whip, like, come on, bro. You just whip it out. Like, what? You freak, bro. You look weird. You're making yourself look weird. That's not what you want to do, bro. You probably, okay, then. You just said don't go too quick. Now you're telling me, uh, well, you just said don't go too late. Now you're telling me too quick, bro. So what I'm supposed to do? You're supposed to wait to the vibe right, bro. That's why I, like, that's why I said in the title, bro, you got to make sure you build the tension and make sure the vibe right. And then how you make your move. Because if the vibe ain't right, ain't nothing going right, bro. That's simple, bro. So you probably like, okay, then how do I make the vibe right when I link with a bit? This is what you want to do, bro. Like I said, you don't want to instantly go for the kill when you've been in there for a minute or nothing like that. You feel me? You want to chop it up, talk to it for a minute. You feel me? When you're talking to it, bro, you want to build the tension and you want to set the vibe right by your tone of voice, bro. You don't want to go in there squeaking like, I never like, I you talking all fast and shit. That's a turn off. She looking at you like you a little brother. You think she finna let her little brother do something? No. You look like her little brother. Oh my God. It's just, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm like, Bro, come on, you looking like a you looking like a fan, bro. You looking like her little brother or something like that, bro. You gotta tighten up. You feel me? She not finna and you think she finna do something with, with, with a dude she looking like a little brother? No. You, you looking sad. You feel me? She honestly laughing at you probably, so stop that, bro. Now I'm not saying every girl the same and all girls don't like goofy guys, but I'm saying like most times, bro, it's on some shit like, bro, you ain't got to be over the top, like, on some goofy shit. Now, if you an energetic person, be energetic. Whatever person you is, be that. But I'm saying it's a time and a place for everything. And so you need to just kind of, you feel me, set the vibe right. So the way you can set the vibe right, you don't want to go in there squeaking and shit. You want to kind of slow down the way you talking. Like, right now, how I'm talking to y'all, that's not what you want to do. Like, right now, I'm talking to y'all on some real shit. You feel me? When you talking to her, you want to kind of lower your tone of voice. You feel me? When you, you want to low-key talk. You know how niggas used to say on some real shit, talking your sexy voice? That's what you kind of want to do. Lower your weight, lower your tone of voice, you feel me? Make sure she can hear your voice all the way through. Make sure she can hear you all the way through. You don't want to talk too quick. Like, I'm talk I'm kind of talking quick right now because it's a YouTube video. I'm kind of, I'm passionate about putting y'all niggas on game. But in a moment with a girl, you don't want to really kind of talk too quick. You feel me? You want to kind of let that shit flow, kind of be natural, and then calm your voice down. You feel me? You're not really talking too loud. You're talking smooth and shit like that. You feel me? So the tone of voice is the first way to set the mood. Number two, bro, you got to touch her. You have to touch her. You have to touch the bitch. If you've been in the room with a bitch for 30 minutes and you haven't touched her yet, you might as well leave. That's 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 a friend to you. You're not even a friend. Y'all associates. You don't want nothing to do with you. You have to make a move at some point. You see me? So you gotta touch, you gotta break that that uh some niggas like calling it the touch barrier, the uh physical touch barrier. Some weird shit, bro. I just say touch the girl, bro. Now what I mean by touch, you don't don't go do no freaky shit, then she slap you in your face, then you can't blame it on me. You you try to grip her, you try to do the most craziest thing. That's not what I mean, bro. I mean, you start off with something like you start play fine with her. You, you, you make a joke and then you kind of push her softly or something like that. Or you feel me? Like you lean in, you kind of talking to her. When y'all act like you're trying to show her something on your phone, be like, come look at this. Then you give her a little hug. So, like something slight. You feel me? That's how you break the touch barrier with something like saying, but I like calling it just to make it move. You feel me? So then when you kind of touch her, bro, you got to kind of touch her. You see how I'm kind of easing into all of this, bro? None of this is just you go in there and just make your move. That's not going to get you. Like she's not even in the mood yet. You feel me? The mood ain't even right yet. The mood, that's like a girl trying to get on you, but you ain't even, but you on, you on shrimp mode. You on shrimp mode. You gotta, you gotta get there. You feel me? You take levels to this jump. You feel me? And it ain't even that difficult. A lot of y'all niggas make it more difficult than it is. You feel me? Just kind of find a way to touch. Act like you're showing someone your phone. Just a simple touch. You feel me? Then after that, bro, like I said, with the tone of voice, bro, you got motherfucking, you, you touching her, bro. At that point, y'all been linking, y'all been chilling for at least like 15, 20 minutes. So during that time, you feel me? You, you can spark up a movie. You feel me? You can spark some shit up. Like, just do whatever y'all doing. Just vibe, bro. Don't make it bigger than it is, bro. And then you make your move. That's what you want to do. You want to make your move right there. After your tone was right already, 
out the motherfucking, you already touched her a little bit, you seem like some chilling shit, bro. You want to make sure she mentally want to do this before you even make your move, bro. Because if the vibe ain't even like that, bro, then my nigga, she going to look at you crazy nine times out of ten. She's going to be like, what's he doing? He an amateur. And it's a chance she still want to do something with you because she could be interested in you, but at the same time, she could look at you like an amateur, like you lame and you don't know what you're doing. And that's what you don't want. You feel me? So what I'm basically saying, bro, is, is it, like I just told y'all, I want to set the vibe like that. That's how you set the vibe. Now, another thing that you don't want to do, like I said, you don't want to take too long, bro. You don't want to take too long. I told y'all boys not to go on too quick. Now, what you don't want to do, like I said, don't take too, don't be too quick. This is what you don't want to do either. You don't want to go in there. Y'all been chilling for three hours. Y'all done watched the whole movie. Y'all motherfucking in eight. Y'all motherfuckers been watching TikTok. Y'all been laying up laughing, giggling, boom, boom, boom. And you never try nothing. Now, I'm saying, now, the vibe just ain't there. The vibe just ain't there. I understand that 100%. But what I'm saying, bro, is she throwing it on you? Because sometimes bitches throw it on you. I'm telling them, they'll throw, they'll, they'll keep the move. They'll throw you the alley but you just won't dunk it. She throwing the alley oop in midair. You get coming down with the ball and landing up. You ain't giving no type of highlight play. You ain't slamming it. Windmill, boom, John Morant, Michael Jordan. You ain't doing nothing. You being nervous. You hit him with a basic layup. You're not even getting the layup. It's not even going in. You feel me? She throwing you the oop. That's the, that's the easiest one. She making it easy for you. Now, you don't want to be that guy that take too long, bro. And then be like, oh, yeah, I just want to. Take it slow with her. And honestly, that tell you a lot about her, bro. You can honestly figure out a lot of shit about her by if she throwing it on you or not, bro. You feel me? Now, I'm not saying a bitch should never throw it on you, bro. Because, yes, if she interested in you at the end of the day, she a female, she going to throw it on you. But if she throw it on you instantly, then you already know the type of female she is. She kind of going easy. Now, if it take her a little minute, you kind of can see that you can fuck with her a little bit. Now, if it take her too long, she's just not fucking with you. There's no such thing as her playing hard to get forever and ever and ever. She's just not liking you. You feel me? But if she give it to you instantly, you can kind of tell she a little, she a little hoe. You feel me? And so basically, the whole video was me basically trying to tell y'all boys, don't rush into it and don't take too long, bro. Just make your move. And let, and let it flow naturally, bro. If she feeling you, she going to give you opportunities. Like I said, she going to throw you the oop. You feel me? She going to throw you the oop. And if you, if you think I'm capping, show this video to your sister, your, your female cousins, like a female friend at school, anything. Just show it to them. You feel me? Hell, show it to your mama. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm chipping. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't go send it to your mama. Your mama going to slap the shit out of you, then you going to come back to me. No, that's not my fault. You feel me? But look, and hold on, hold on. Before I even continue, why you ain't like the video yet, bro? You been watching this video all the way to this point. I'm not even done giving y'all the game yet, and you ain't even like the video, bro. I'm putting y'all on all this shit. You can't like the video? Nigga, hit the like button. I'm talking to you. Hit it. Thank you, bro. It took you long enough. God damn. But look, bro. I got all off topic and shit because you ain't even hit the like button. But on some real shit, bro. If you think I'm capping just ass females, bro, basically the same way, you feel me, you just don't instantly turn up and your jump don't instantly get on boom, it, her jump don't instantly get on Niagara Falls, bro. It take a minute, you feel me? So just, just take your time when you're doing it. And just kind of come off like you know what you're doing, bro. Just kind of just come off like you know what you're doing, bro. Just kind of be smooth. Let it flow naturally. Don't be all excited. Like I said earlier in the video, just kind of be laid back, calm, and collected, bro. That's the way you kind of want to be when you're talking to these girls and when you're trying to make your movies. You now, you probably like, okay, what's next? So after you done did everything I just told you to do, you, you the tone of voice, you feel me? You done touched her, play with her a little bit. You feel me? You can joke with her a little bit. You feel me? Then you go for your move, bro. When you go for your move, if she still say no, leave it. Leave it. She don't want to do nothing with you, bro. That's simple. That simple. At that point, bro, you didn't play your cards right. You didn't did damn near everything right, and she still declined it, bro. Let go. Just let it be, bro. Don't beg for it. That's the lamest thing you could do. The lame niggas gonna beg. What you gonna beg, bro? Like, come on. Like at this point, you gonna lose your manhood over some. No, bro. Come on. Don't beg. Don't be like, come on. What you mean? What you mean? You are you at my crib? I'm trying to boom boom. We've been here for an hour. Like, no, bro. Cause then it came up like you just came to to boom boom boom. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm basically saying is, if she reject you, don't be salty about it. If she say, nah, I'm cool, let's just chill right now, don't be salty about it. That's what you don't want to do is do the most. That's the lamest shit. You can do the most, be like, what, boom, boom, boom. Because now it came up like you came over here expecting it, you feel me? It came over here like you came over here with the expectation, like you finna go crazy, you feel me? And that's what you don't want to do. Because you come off like you just doing the most, and it came off like that's the only thing you fucking with her for. You feel me? And at the same time, don't, like I said, don't, uh, don't, don't act all, like, all mad about it and shit. Don't be doing the most about it and shit. And not only that, bro, don't kind of keep pushing it. Don't be mad about it. That's the one thing you don't want to do. And the second thing you don't want to do is don't push it. Don't be, if she say no, don't keep trying, bro. You come off like a lame nigga. You come off like you lame. I ain't gonna count. If a bit decline your offer, bro, like I said, you got to treat your junk like you, like you got good junk anyway. If she don't want it, she tripping. Bye. Bye. Well, okay, cool. I ain't even worried about that for real. 
You feel me? Because if she know you can't control yourself in that type of mode and you can't control yourself sexually, she gonna, she gonna know she can play with you, bro. So don't beg. Don't be like, please, bro, bro, don't. Let me just, let me put a tip in. No, no bro. Come on, tying up. I know some niggas like that, bro. Some of y'all niggas be like that. Don't be that guy, bro. And if you is that guy, slap yourself on the neck and move forward. Don't beg for it. Don't do none of that. Just be like, oh, okay, cool. I feel you. And feel me? And don't make another move until she trying to make the move. Don't keep asking and asking and asking. You feel me? Because what you doing then is you coming out needy and you coming out desperate like you don't get no play anyway. And not only do you not get no play anyway, that's just a badass look. And you probably going to go in that group chat. You feel me? But that's basically all I got for y'all in today's video, man. Y'all let me know if I ain't explained something correctly and y'all want me to go more in detail about something. Y'all just let me know anything, you feel me? And if you need some personal advice, bro, hit me up on Instagram. I be trying to text uh, I be trying to text people back on there sometimes, bro. A lot more people starting to hit me up on Instagram and shit, so it's getting a little more difficult to respond to every single person. You feel me? So I appreciate that love for real, for real. We just hit 9K. We just hit 9K, so next 10K, we're going to hit that joint real soon. I'm telling y'all, boy. We're going to hit that joint real soon. On the road to 10K, man, I ain't finna talk too much more. I done talked enough this whole video. Hopefully, I helped you out, bro. I'm going to catch y'all boys next time. Hey.